back to another video. In this video, I will be making this pelican case. No, actually not that pelican case because I ordered the wrong one. I'm making this pelican case slightly bigger than that one. And a proper toolbox. Got a really good socket set here. It's got ratchet spanners. It's got all the sockets I need for working on cars, bikes, motorbikes. But the letdown is that the box that it comes in is terrible. So let's get into it. This is a half odds toolbox. It's got a full lifetime warranty on on the tools. It's got ratchet spanners. Come in good in a pinch. It's got deep sockets. It's got every socket that you ever need. It's got different bars. It's got extenders. I'm gonna get this. Just got four minutes and out. Can get rid of that. Throw that away. Throw that away. So obviously to do this, uh, you need a few tools. You need a sharpie to mark it and do the outline for the tools. I need a scalpel. I've just put a fresh blade on it to cut out the shadow foam. Got a paint pen, which I don't think I'll need. Got a Stanley knife with another fresh blade on it for cutting the shadow foam because it's quite thick. Got a ruler, a metal ruler, just in case I need to cut some big straight lines. And I have a pair of scissors just so I can pluck the, the shadow foam out. Also, I've got an old table that I don't mind cutting on. So you either need a cutting mat if you're cutting on a table or something like that. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get the old foam, this size here, this one here. I'm going to cut it to a bit out this. This is the 50 mil shadow foam. Every layer here is 10 mil, so I think you just work it out how deep the tool is and then take it from there. So I'm going to use the original foam that came in the pelly case. I'm going to use that as a template so that then I can cut the shadow foam. So I will. Draw a line on it there, draw a line on it there, and then I'll get my Stanley knife and I will cut it. Right, that's that cut. Nice and easy. That's the second part we're done. The second part is going to be the middle. Um, just got the last part to do. Uh, the spanners, the spanners are all going to lay flat, kind of like this one is. So it's quite easy to cut. You just dig the knife in. That's a, that's a final piece done. All the spanners are arranged, the rest of the stuff that was left, the kind of Allen keys, sort of sorted bits that go with the driver. So, pretty good. So, try a test fit now, see how it all fits in together. I'll be going to the bottom, all the deep sockets, all your spanners, and whatnot. I'll be going there in the middle, and then the light one at the top with all the Spanners and that'll be nice. So, what we'll do also, just to keep it in there, we'll use this and this, push that down, and then we'll use that last small bit just to keep it there. And then that's it. That's how you turn an old Halfords case is broke into a nice solid. Pella case that will hopefully last me for the next 30 years. <coughs> so, thanks for watching my latest video, turning an old Pella case into a, a great new socket case with some shadow foam. 
I'll see you in the next one where I'll be building a bike. I was waiting on some parts coming through that are kind of age appropriate. Now I've got everything, so I think you should crack on with that. So in the next over the next couple of weeks, it'll be out. Hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, please drop a like if you did. Uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.